Hi everyone, welcome to day 62 of Praying Through the Psalms. Today we are looking at Psalms 123 and 124, which continue with our this collection of psalms called the Songs of Ascent. And these, as uh, we talked about yesterday, would have been sung by pilgrims marching to the holy city of Jerusalem to partake in the festivals of their faith. So what began as a joyous journey, so much excitement as they leave the communities that are so far away from their loved ones to return to the place of God in their minds. Uh, they are joyous. They sing songs of praise, uh, songs of peace. But as journeys tend to do, it gets difficult, often in the middle part. And so we imagine that now there's um, difficulty, trouble, and it's causing them maybe to, you know, reflect on past hardships, especially because they lived in what was called the diaspora, which means the community of Jewish believers outside of Jerusalem. And after exile, after the exile to Babylon, there were quite a number of Jewish people who did not return to Jerusalem. So there's a, there's a lot living far away from the city, far away from family and friends, from a community that would have been you know, mostly Jewish believers, and many of them might be, you know, small pockets of Jewish believers in the midst of other ancient Near Eastern societies. And that would have been difficult. I'm sure they experienced a lot of contempt and scorn from their neighbors, a lot of ridicule because of their beliefs. And as they're journeying on this road, I think it's coming back to mind for them. And so they pray for mercy. I'm imagining that it's as they get closer and closer to God, it's like the weights are coming off their shoulder. We're, we're going home. We're going to be amongst um, God's people. We're going to get to worship God at his temple where they believed his presence resided. So for them, it's like shedding all of the defense, all of the struggle and strife of living outside of the community. And, and so this is part of that lament. So their prayer here is for mercy, for relief from contempt that has been heaped on them. And I think in general, from the struggles found in living so far away from family and friends in the temple of God. And after this lament comes Thanksgiving. Uh, so as Israelites and uh, the psalmist so often do, they, they turn from lament to either at a statement of trust or they look backwards into the past, remembering what God has done, and that that allows them to be thankful and as well to have trust for the future. So thinking about Israel's past, they recount that God has delivered them from situations so dire that only God could save. There was no, no chance that a human being was going to be, be able to do anything to calm a raging storm, to get out of a flood, to deal with a predator with sharp teeth or with a hunter's trap. All of those instances are things that only God could save. And so their conclusion is, which we've seen this refrain before, that help is in the name of the Lord. When they're saying the name of the Lord, because the, the meaning is that when they call on God, he will respond when they call on his name. And God, of course, made heaven and earth. So as they journey, recognizing that the road is full of pitfalls, the road was a very dangerous place. You uh, might know of the story of the Good Samaritan from the New Testament. Uh, the roads were scary. There were thieves on the road, um, dangerous animals. This isn't a paved road going, you know, on a straight and narrow path. Uh, they're journeying through hills and valleys, and there could be, as they're singing, floods, rainstorms, instant rainstorms that would have turned these wadis from like you know, a kind of ravine into rushing water, um, just a lot of struggle. This was not an easy journey to make. And as they're walking through this, they're remembering that God can deliver them from any situation and that he, he is the protector that they were so confidently stated in, uh, the previous Psalms. So for us, we might pray these together. I think they go well together. When we too feel that sting of scorn, ridicule, 
and contempt. Unfortunately, it happens a lot, especially in a society that is so angry and divided as ours is at the moment. Uh, people will turn on one another. There's a lot of harsh language being used, a lot of not giving someone else the benefit of the doubt. And so the result is scorn, ridicule, and contempt. And then it especially gets heaped on people of faith on Christians. Uh, again, in our modern day society, there's so little tolerance for the Christian faith. And uh, we're painted with this broad brush of hatefulness and ignorance and backwardness. And it gets tiring. And it's very tempting to snap back. At least it is for me to just want, you, you get tired of it after a while. It breaks you down. And when you're in that situation, it's easy to just lash back out. So here's another solution. When we feel that sting and we want to lash out, whether it's in person or online, and we want to just type something really mean into the internet, uh, we can stop and remember these songs and pray them and pray that God would be the one to have mercy, to deliver us from this situation, um, to, you know, redeem us and restore us. And then we can, as they did in Psalm 124, think back to not only what God did for Israel, what God has done for us in Jesus Christ, but even personal instances in your life where God delivered you, maybe even from the scorn or ridicule contempt of someone else. So it'll help you end on a note of trust. So let us pray uh, these two Psalms today. Gracious God, we lift our eyes to you, to you who sit enthroned in heaven as one who looks to someone in power. When we are weak, we look to you, Lord, our God, and we ask you to show us your mercy. Have mercy on us, Lord. Have mercy on us. For sometimes it feels like there is no end to the contempt and the ridicule and the scorn that is heaped upon our heads. Sometimes just because the other person is angry or persons, sometimes it is a direct attack because of our faith in you, God. And Lord, we admit that it is tough to take, and our instinct is to lash back out in return, because it feels like it's ongoing, no end to the ridicule from the arrogant or contempt from the proud. So God, forgive us for those instances where we have lashed out with words or deeds, God. And Lord, help us to trust in you for future circumstances even if that's something that's happening in our lives right now, God. Because truly, if you were not on our side, if you had not been on the side of Israel, they would have been swallowed up. The flood would have engulfed them. The raging waters would have swept them away. They would have been caught up in the hunter's snare. But God, you have allowed Israel to escape. You allowed us to escape through faith in Jesus Christ, the grace and mercy that you offer through him. We are no longer in chains, God. We are no longer unable to bear this life because you are with us. The power of the Holy Spirit resides within us. So we can keep pressing forward in strength. We can press forward in peace. We can press forward with hope, knowing that you are our help. And all we have to do, God, is call on you. You might not take us off the dangerous road ahead, but you tell us you will walk with us on that road and you will send others to walk alongside us. You will guide us. You will direct us. You will give us comfort and peace. And sometimes, God, you will even be carrying us although sometimes it doesn't feel like it. So Lord, we put our trust not in ourselves, not in our own abilities, but in you, God. Our help is in the name of you, Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. If you can create this wild and beautiful, amazing universe, 
You can help us in the situations that we face this day. So Lord, hear our prayers, hear our cries. Help us to stand firm on the gospel of truth. Help us to continue to hold out light, even when people try to put darkness all around us. Help us to continue to hold out hope, even when it seems like there is none. Help us to speak love and grace and peace and mercy at all times in your name. We pray these things in the powerful and mighty and strong name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.